After you've released the front of your hip using the hip hook, and then you release the back of your hip using a ball, the last step and most important step is to do the realignment exercise. And this is a step that's very often forgotten. You can release the tension that's pulling your pelvis out of place with these methods using the hip hook and the ball, but oftentimes just that alone isn't enough to put the pelvis back into place. This is also where you could seek out a chiropractor or a physical therapist or someone who can actually help support you by putting your bones back into alignment. Um, but this realignment exercise is intended to use your own muscles to pull your bones back into place. Super simple. All you need to do is lie down on your back with your knees bent and whichever side that is rotated forward or anteriorly is the side that you're going to do with the realignment exercise. So it's very important to figure out what, which side um, is the one that's rotated and know what to do there. You're going to bring both legs up. For me, it's my right side that tends to be rotated. So I'm going to put my hands behind my right knee. My left leg is just sitting here and not doing anything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push against my hand as if I'm putting my foot down towards the ground. I'm not moving in this direction. I'm moving in this direction. So, um, and that's important because it activates different muscles. So I'm pretending like I'm trying to put my toe back on my mat as I'm pushing against my hands. And I'm not pushing the absolute hardest I, I can. I'm pushing in a moderate amount of weight just so that I can get a contraction of my hamstring and my glute muscle. When you put that pressure and uh, push isometrically against your hand, you'll hold that for two seconds and then relax. And then you'll push for two seconds and then relax. And you repeat that 10 times. And this is a little bit like getting um, an old dresser drawer unstuck. You kind of have to wiggle it. You know, you push a little, pull a little, push a little, pull a little in order to get the drawer to come unstuck. In the similar ways that contraction and relaxation that really helps get that pelvis into alignment. Um, and then you can end the exercise by slowly lowering your legs, doing a little bit of a bridge, maybe even doing that a couple times. And people who tend to have adjustments um, or um, issues with their pubic bone often find it useful to do a fist squeeze where you just squeeze both of your knees into your fist. My, my hip just popped doing that. Um, that's a great way to end that exercise. So those three things, step one, releasing the front of the hip, step two, releasing the back of the hip, and then ending with the realignment exercise is the magic sauce to helping you finally solve your rotated pelvis.